The Stingbat is a small and aggressive flying predator with an outstanding sense of location. Ritty is the Navi name. Avatar Theory here, hope you're doing well and having a great day and in this video I want to go over one of the aerial creatures on Pandora and that is the Stingbat. They are nocturnal creatures that spend the daytime sleeping upside down with their wings wrapped around them. They are omnivores and consume both plants and animals but they like rodent-sized animals the most, such as lizards and specifically fruit. The stingbat typically hunts alone, but when faced with larger prey, such as a small hexapede, it will swarm with other stingbats. Due to their immunity to toxins found in the glands and on branches surrounding the flowers, they are one of the few creatures that can swallow centipedes' nectar. Interestingly, stingbats keeps flying into the automated sentry cannons that guard the the Hell's Gate compound, killing everyone in their path. They are frequently prey for larger predators like the Forest Banshee due to their reduced brain capacity, yet their copious breeding behaviors maintain a stable population. The skin of a stingbat is usually purple-blue with bright yellow patterns. The stingbat's second pair of limbs, in contrast to most flying creatures on Pandora, have not developed into wings but rather into pincer-like arms that may attack both prey and predators. They have four golden-like eyes and their skull and jaw features noticeable crest structures. The stingbat has translucent fangs and claws with the wing membranes and body exhibiting the most bioluminescence. The stinger on a stingbat's tail resembles that of a scorpion. Some Navi actually domesticate stingbats and keep them as pets in spite of their poisonous tail spines. In addition to perching on their owner's shoulder and eating fruit from their hands, they can be trained to respond to calls with clicks made with their tongues and teeth. Additionally, the Navi gather their tail for use as plectrums when playing musical bows. According to the activist's survival guide, they state that the wingspan of a stingbat is approximately 1.2 meters, and in their description they state, quote, this foul-tempered aerial predator has a highly developed visual navigation system, yet despite this organic intelligence, their small brain cavity and cerebral cortex inhabits their innate survival mechanisms. Despite a constant slaughter, the creatures continue to fly into the range of automated sentry guns that defend the Hell's Gate compound. Their diminished cerebral capacity makes them common prey for larger predators such as banshees, but their protege's mating habits ensure a steady population." End quote. Now what's interesting about the sting bats on the Avatar movie is that in a deleted scene, we can actually see that one sting bat attempted to attack attack Jake Sully when he first arrived at Hell's Gate, but it was immediately killed by Lao Wainfleet. Go check this out, man. Meals on wheels. Oh, man, that is just wrong. What are you two limp dicks staring at? Staring at you, Stumpy. A lot of guys leave this place in a wheelchair. Never seen anybody show up in one. It was also mentioned that in the original 1995 script of Avatar, there was also a scene during the Salt on the Tree of Souls in which arrows dipped in an attractant caused sting bats to swarm around human soldiers. For those of you lucky enough to have visited Pandora the World of Avatar theme park, it's been said that robotic sting bats can also be sighted throughout that area. It is unfortunate that most of the footage of sting bats found in the Avatar movie was from deleted scenes, but these are definitely one of the more interesting aerial creatures found on Pandora. But what are your thoughts of the sting bat? Let me know in the comments below and for more Avatar content, have a look at the rest of my channel. Until next time, have a fantastic day and stay safe.